Hello and welcome. So here's the thing. Last year, a friend of a friend gave me this 1996 Gary Fisher Marlin. It's a really nice steel, rigid mountain bike, so I gladly accepted. I took it down to a bare frame, gave it a couple coats of clear, converted it to a 1x9, and I put on some used tires and wheels that I had kicking around, as well as a wider handlebar and a leather saddle. All in all, I think it came out really well. The problem was, I didn't hardly ride this at all. I mean, three times maybe. So I decided to do something different and make it a drop bar gravel bike for two reasons. First of all, I've never done that. And secondly, I had the bits and bobs laying around to do it. So the first step is removing the old, well, I say old, the existing cassette. And it came off quite easily and that really wasn't much of a surprise because it's so new. I put a 10 speed cassette on it that I had. Now the thing is, I went from, oh, I think 11 to 42 tooth on the 9 speed to, I want to say 12 to 34 on the 10 speed. And you might think, well, you, I'm giving up, uh, you know, some climbing ability here with a smaller low gear but this is not going to be for mountain riding as such it's going to be more like fire roads and dirt roads and stuff like that so i think this is going to be a fine ratio as it turns out the existing micro shift advent derailleur which had been working with the nine speed also worked with the 10 speed and i know this because i pulled that derailleur off a 10 speed road bike i'd built some years back and in fact it's that 10 speed road bike that the new handlebars and the combination drop bar shifters come from so i know this stuff is all compatible well other than that it's just pretty much a straightforward process of putting everything back together. Now, when it comes to the drop bars, you may notice that the brake cables are still kind of at loose ends here. And that's because I thought I had some spare brake cables in my parts boxes. Well, as it turns out, those were not brake cables. They were shifter cables. So I'm gonna have to get a set. Also, because this is remaining a one by, I just removed the shift cable altogether from the left hand shifter. Don't need it. And yeah, it's still got the two levers, but it's not gonna hurt anything. All in all, this project actually turned out pretty well. I think it's gonna be kind of a fun alternative on some of our more rugged roads up here in Maine. Certainly, it's something to do that I haven't done before and that's half the attraction for me is doing something new and different and I know I say new and different a bazillion people have done this but I hadn't so there you go and if you enjoyed this video I've got a link to the original review and upgrade of the Marlin lower left and I've got a link to another video lower right that I think you'll enjoy. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Goodbye and have a great day.